All right, with this West 2 Facebook Live update, I'm Chief Meteorologist Tony Manolfi. Hope you guys had a, a great day today. I want to take you outside right now and show you uh, what uh, uh, what it looks like. We've got uh, some fantastic weather out there. We've got uh, some much, much cooler weather on the way. And I'm telling you folks, this is going to be a treat now uh, for us here in the middle of May. There aren't going to be too many more uh, mornings and days like this. Trust me on that. Tim Gary, Brittany uh, Stites. Uh, Kay McCullough, uh, good to have you guys in here. You guys know my motto, sharing is caring. Uh, caring. Darlene Mize, Deborah Intagliano, uh, Tim Gary, Doug Tweedy, Diane Cornemier. Good group in here already. 306 live viewers. I love it. I love it. I love it. Uh, now 400. All right. So, again, the deal is if you like cooler, drier, less humid weather, boy, I'll tell you what, you are going to flat out love uh, the forecast here for the next couple of days. Let me uh, kind of get into some of the graphics here, show you what's going on. Gwen McCoy. Abby Fallon, Pamela Jaquez Lopez, good to have you there. And don't forget, uh, sharing is caring. The more people we can get to share these Facebook Live feeds as we're doing them, the more people we can put in the weather note. So here's the deal. We've got this big low cranking on up, and that's going to pour in that drier and that cooler air. We take a look at that front. Two of them are going to be kind of poking on in here. That's going to bring us that drier and that uh, gorgeous weather here as we go through. Uh, the next 48 hours. Quick little uh, thunder shower there uh, developed over towards uh, Ormond by the Sea, uh, north of Ormond Beach there. Tomoka States, Favoretta. Uh, Carmen Luciano is in the house. Good to have you. Mount Grove. Uh, hope you're doing well, young lady. Uh, let's see who else we have. Alderica, Ferreria, Joe uh, Kesington, uh, Heather Lynn McDaniel Farmer. Loving this weather. I'm if you love this weather, if you like the cooler weather, uh, wait till you see what we've got in store for you guys here. All right, let's talk temps right now. Show you what it looks like. 76 Ocala, 81 Sanford. When we take a look at the dew points, this is the first key as to what's uh, happening. Now we're starting to see the dew points lowering in Ocala, uh, meaning that the front and that drier air uh, is beginning to uh, uh, swing on through. And you can see the west, west, northwest winds right there. So that's the sign, the first sign. Uh, Wendy Gidry, you are lucky. We did not get any rain. Franny Loyacano, uh, Polly Clark, Doug Tweedy, Jojo Hernandez. Large, fast, happy group in here today. Uh, you guys are awesome. Thanks for popping in and, and saying hi. And uh, uh, We've got a, a treat. I mean a treat. Look at these winds right now. Uh, 10 to 25. Let's see what the gusts look like. Still 21 in Leesburg. Uh, look at these lows tonight. Natalie Wiltsy, you will not be wilting. These are going to be fantastic temperatures. Debs, cool, yes, in Palm Coast. Margaret uh, Lanterman, I'm so excited. Uh, I was just home with PA for weeks. Uh, the, I know, it's crazy. A May, a mid-May snowstorm. That's just insane. Uh, 54 in the villages, and we're going to talk about that here, too, a little bit later on. Lynn Marie Maloney, LMM, what up, girl, girl, girl. Uh, Jennifer Richter Murray, long time no see. Jimmy uh, Prentice, good to have you. We can... Uh, uh, it looks, you know, down south is wet, uh, especially on Sunday. Jojo Hernandez, did you get any tacos? I did not. I had ravioli, but thank you, Heather uh, Brookie, uh, for looking out for me. I do appreciate you. All right, so 60 in the morning. Look at this setup. I mean, look at this. Bada bing, bada boom. Check this out. Look at that afternoon. Oh, that's not right. That's the wrong one. This is the one I wanted. There you go. Look at that high. About 78 degrees. There you go. Uh, John Francis Wood. 46 in Charlottetown, Canada. Kenny Bear, Rosie Martinez, 61 tomorrow in the morning. Uh, Frank Kiernan, Julie Ward. <whistles> His feet is going by fast and furious. All right, so let's take a look now at the short-range forecast. And we're going to start to, to scooch ahead to Mother's Day. There's the front. Look at that high builds in. Cooler, fantastic weather uh, on tap for tomorrow. Now, with the wind and all of that, here's what I got for you. Uh, you can see we've got the high fire danger index. Attempts tomorrow. Oh, Brooke outside. David Bankard Sr. Robert Figueroa. Doug Tweedy outside. I say hello from the village. It's good to have you, Mr. Bankard. Uh, <laughs> might have to bring out the G. Yes, Dougster. Doug Alina. Sammy uh, Hager Lopez. Good to have you. Yes, love the 60s. Mary Lewis must be a product of the 60s. Tricia Gebhardt. Lenneman, good to have you. Kerry Keen, Kerry Keen. Oh, you are so nice, my ray of sunshine. What up, Diane Ragnar? Good to have you, D. 75. These are the highs tomorrow. 75 Ocala. Normal high should be about 87. Brian Keller has popped in. He's loving life. He's ready for the cooler weather. 
Uh, Orange County, mid upper 70s. Seminole County, Volusia County, low and mid 70s. Not bad, right? Uh, we got 75 in Reddick, 75 in Nellon, 78 in Leesburg, Claremont, Astatula. Uh, back towards the coast, mid 70s, low 70s to Cape. Kathy Kelly, CK, what up? Miss Flagler Beach, JoJo, Marie DeGoria, good to have you there, young lady. Thank you for popping in. Now, the dog walking forecast uh, doesn't get much better than this. Check it. Oh, sweet ginger brown. That is what I'm talking about. Uh, breezy and cooler. Are well, there in the morning? Uh, Carmen Luciano, I hope you are doing well. Thanks for popping in. It's been a long time, girl. Happy to have you with us. Uh, breezy and cooler, 9 a.m., 67. Gerardo Lopez has popped in. Baking with the kids. What, what are we making? What are we cooking over there? Natalie, good grass cutting day. Absolutely. No doubt about that. I'll cut the grass tomorrow. There you go. Uh, we got Brian Kelleher. We got Jojo Jumri. We got Franny Lolo. Franny, Franny, Franny. Franny, we have not missed you. All right, perfect cookies. Oh, chocolate chip peanut butter cookies. Joe, you're killing me. Now I want a cookie. Uh, Pam Mason, when does the typical rainy season start? Pammy Poo, there's no perfect set time, no perfect uh, uh, end time. Ba basically, it could start anywhere from mid-May to uh, mid-June. mid, mid -June. Uh, So we'll have to wait and see. Um, you know, what fronts coming in on a regular basis here in May. Might be a little later this year. We'll have to wait and see. All right, so the dog walking forecast, 9 a.m. Oh, look at that little pupper. 67 to 9. 71 to 12. Carla, uh, Carol DeLeo Campbell's in the house. Carol, sweet Carol. Ba, ba, ba. Noon, 71, 5 o'clock. Awesome afternoon coming in at about 75. All right, let's get a couple more graphics up there. We're going to jump ahead. A lot of you guys are hanging for the Mother's Day forecast. I'm going to have that for you here in a scotch. Let's take a look at the biking forecast. New day, new season. Breezy and cooler for the bikers. Get outside. Perfect weather. Uh, Clint, sweet. Hey, Tony. Clinter, very nice tie shirt coming. Thank you, Miss McCullough. Uh, looking forward to tomorrow's weather. Whoa, Lisa Morelli. Mr. Tony, beautiful weather. Lisa, grazie. Uh, Deborah, Integliana. Uh, 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 Deb, is it your birthday? Is it your birthday, Deb? One. And Melendez, hurricane season is approaching. Now is the time to get your hurricane action plan together. That is correct. Noel, Noel, Miranda is in the house. Greg Lenich, what's up, Toadster? Juanita Jimenez, not a whole lot. Jason Baird, good to have you. All right, Boat and Beach forecast. A little chill in the air for the beach. A little rough, too. Winds north, 15 to 20. Small craft advisories are in there, along with some choppy seas. High tide, 923. Low tide. At 3.33. Yes, very. Thank you, Francis. Uh, Deborah, no. <laughs> All right. Uh, simple answer. Right to the point. Don't mince in any words. I love it. I love it. I love it. All right. Event the Super Moon. Who's checking this out tomorrow? You can check it out tonight as well. Uh, but tomorrow night's going to be crystal clear. Uh, I mean, I'm talking. Mm, might not be. Looking forward to this weather. Lots of your Kimberly Sales Hernandez. All right. All right. All right. All right. Ms. Matthew McConaughey would say. 69, 61, 60. Now, on the, the flower moon, in the evening tomorrow, moon rises at 835. Comes above the horizon by about 30, 35 degrees around 1130. It's going to be a good time to check it out. Too hot outside. William, that is going away tonight. Fantastic weather for the next two days. Uh, on this lovely evening with a big moon. Donna, Donna, Donna. Yep. You're welcome, Debs. Hello, Tony from just south of Sleepless in Seattle. Richard Reed has popped in. Everybody say hi to Rich. Uh, Lori, birthday. Aha! Happy birthday, Lori. So there you go. The May full moon, the flower moon. Best time to check out that big super moon. Uh, you can do it tonight. But it's going to be better tomorrow night. Uh, hi, Winter Park here. Linda Meese, the Meester, the Meese Meister. Uh, I would be looking to see the big moon. Doug Tweedy. Awesome sauce. All right, let's take a look at the even cooler weather for Friday morning. 50, 49, 50 in Ocala. Ay, caramba. 50, me frio. Uh, 55 in Orlando, 53 in Sanford, 52 in the land, and over there in Palm Coast. Titusville, 54. Thank you, Debs. You're too kind to me. Uh, Melbourne coming in at about 56 degrees. And there you have it. A hurricane season has been canceled until further notice, says Danny Marshall. Dan, unfortunately, Mother Nature does not want to listen to us. It's a coming. 
and we're going to have to get ready for it. Money Dykes from Fruitland Park. Money, money. Money, money. Uh, all right, so here's the fun on Saturday, getting into Mother's Day weekend. A couple showers on Saturday. And then on Sunday, ooh. All right, so the main heavy stuff is down south. However, some of that moisture could build in to central Florida. But I really think the heavy stuff is going to be down south. Shelly Dilling Thompson. Uh, hi, Tony. Thank you. Shells, what are you thanking me for? Did I, did I give you something? Uh, Shells, uh, I'll take it. I, I, thank you. Uh, Terry Hottie Lottie checking in. <laughs> Haley Riggs. Thank you. Ah, well said, Haley. Yes, saluting them. Loves, kisses, hearts, virtual hugs. Uh, yeah, I was told not to play music. <laughs> um, <laughs> that's a whole other story. Deborah Malazzo, 55. Holy moly. Um, yes, I'm going to be a rule breaker, but I'm going to stretch it out. Francis, you know me well. Uh, good night to all. My bed is calling my name. Doug Tweedy, an early riser. All right, so let's take a look now at the European computer model. Boom. Look at that. Look, look at that. Five inches of rain. Really? Uh, there you go. So the farther south you go, the heavier the rain is going to get. Perla Laraz Cox uh, from Miss Los Angeles has popped in to say hello to us. Uh, Euro Rainfall. Jay Eckert from Tavares. No, no, you did not get me in trouble. Um, it's music and um, uh, rights to use music while on a broadcast, per se. KK McCullough, you're good. No worries. No harm, no foul. Uh, I was listening to music while doing my job. No, no, I did not get in trouble. I was... I was politely told. Uh, okay, anyway, we're, we're, we're getting off the beaten track here. Good evening, Astros in the house. Sally Anderson, here we go. Euro's not too keen on significant rain for Central Florida, except for maybe Southern Nevada County. Uh, GFS, however, is still sticking with its guns. Ooh, that looks wetter than earlier today. Aye. So we'll see. Still, still think it's not going to be this wet, but, you know, you never know. Uh, I would love for one to two inches of rain between Sunday and Monday. Uh, Pearl of the Lost Cox has been in Kissimmee for eight years in August. Congrats to you. Maricel Cortez, hello to you. You guys are awesome. I love it. Oh, Kavika Patel. KPP, what up? Uh, George O'Hanis. <laughs> All right, so again, GFS wet, Euro, not so much. Mother's Day forecast. For now, I'm staying optimistic. Some sun in the morning, plenty of clouds in noon, scattered showers in the afternoon, until I see otherwise. All right, now the next system here, and then we're going to do tropics next. Exactly, exactly. Maricel Cortez. See, I thought when I was singing it, I was the guy singing it, that I can get away with it. Eh, not so much. Uh, Tony, you're the best. Good night, all. Ah, oh, Debs, you take care, stay safe, and enjoy that big super moon. Uh, sweet Caroline. <clears throat> now, if I were to mention somebody's name, you know, things can happen. Uh, Monday, 8 a.m. There we go. Tuesday, there's that front dropping on it. And another gorgeous day on Tuesday. Let's take a look now. Hurricane season. Uh, Miss Francis Logano, please put those earplugs in for the next minute and a half, two minutes. There we go. 26 days out now. 26 and dropping. 26 days for you to get your hurricane action plan in high gear. And there's a good reason for that, especially when you look at this season's forecast. Uh, we are talking about 12, 6, and 3 being the norm over the last 20 years. Uh, 16, 8, and 4 is... Uh, what most forecasts are calling for uh, this season, and that is based on a few factors, as we've discussed with many of you uh, in the past, and we'll go over them again for our newbies. The, the neutral El Nino Southern Oscillation to a weak La Nina pattern. Ocean temperatures are above average in many of the hot spots where development does occur. There you go, Terry. You just... <laughs> Daniel, sorry. I know, I, was at, I got a little out of control, but it sure felt good. Now, let me let me tell you something. Here's another reason why I want you guys to get your uh, 
hurricane action plans going. So I did a little digging. Went back the last five years. Now you take a look at the last five years, 2015, 2016, 2017, 2018, and 2019. We've had five May storms in the last five years. That's, you know, a lot of people would say it's global warming. Who knows? At any rate, it's active. Anna, 2015. Bonnie, 2016. Alberto in 18. Arlene in 17. And Andrea in 19. So there you go. That's why you got to be ready. Got to be prepared before hurricane season starts. And then once we're in the season, you take a look at the forecast by Colorado State University that came out in early April. Uh, you know, calling for a 68% chance of a hurricane hitting the state of Florida. And then as far as a the chance of a major hurricane hitting the state of Florida. There you go. 31%. 31%. That's a lot higher percentage than we would like to uh, see. Now, tropical names. Uh, there we go. Uh, the name storms looking like this. Martha, Bertha, Crystal Ball, Dolly, Edward, Faye, Gonzalo, Hannah, Isaiah, Josephine, Kyle, Laura, Marco, Nana. Uh, do you... No, they're normal. Jordan Lopez. Nah, there you go. He's drinking some Pepsi. He's drinking some Dr. Pepper. He's got Coke. Um, let's see. So that's a that's a look at the. Uh, the storm names there. Then we do the Mary Richard has popped in. Mary, looking wet down your way for Mother's Day, by the way. So just be prepared for that. Uh, there's a look at the Pacific. Not so bad. Uh, Atlantic is, thankfully, very quiet. Uh, Brian, there's many times where uh, we're either higher or low every year. It's, it's incredibly hard. For forecast in April to exactly happen. In fact, I don't know that it's ever happened. It's a good question. Carly Dean, hey Tony. Hi, uh, time for can we? <laughs> there you go, Mary. Na 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 na. Oh, na oh, Joe's grandmother is on that list. Uh oh, don't. Joe, I don't even want to know what her attitude's like. Look at that. Look at that thunderstorm. Ooh wee. That's what we got there. Pacific's got a few clutches, nothing major. All right, Chutzilla. Right about there. First, first show of the night. That's, I did pretty good tonight. 15 minutes in? What am I in? Yeah, I think 15 minutes in. So not bad. Not bad at all. All right, so there's the water vapor channel, as you can see. A lot of wind shear. Big wind, wind shear belt there. Big wind shear belt there. And there's a high right there. There's another high up here. So there you go. So that's what we're looking at right there. Now the water temperatures, oof, they're coming up. Look at this 80. This 80 ring. Boom. Baby shark. Nah, nah, baby shark. Eh, eh. There you go. Lots of 80s there. Uh, wave action, not bad at all. Uh, my grand. Ah, there you go, Perla. Now is the time to pair. Good yawn for sure. Thank you. Didn't want to waste the K. It's not an app, Daniel. It's a, what I'm on is what's called uh, uh, TrueView Max. It's a it's a WSI weather machine. Uh, the IBM folks and uh, they they kind of made these machines for us. Sorry, Gerardo. Uh, so there you go. Now let's take a look at that updated seven day forecast here. Kind of put the the rain coming this weekend. Sean, right now, um, the exact location of the heavy rain certainly looks like it's going to be down south, but literally any deviation in that storm track could be the difference between, you know, a little rain and a significant amount of rain. And, and I'll go back to uh, that rainfall graphic here in a second, but let me keep that seven-day forecast up. We'll go back to that. Uh, thank you, Sammy. Appreciate you, Bubba. Tell everybody over there I said hi. 78 on Thursday, 84 on Friday, 85 on Saturday, uh, Sunday 78, Monday 82, Tuesday 84, and Wednesday coming in at 80.
five degrees. Danielle Marshall, thank you. Danny, you are welcome. All right, so that's a look at the seven day. So gorgeous weather Thursday, gorgeous weather on Friday, a few showers on Saturday, another beautiful, beautiful day there, Monday afternoon and Tuesday. So uh, we're going to get spoiled here before summer kicks on in. Rainy Mother's Day uh, down in South Florida for sure. I think there will be some showers here in Central Florida. Just don't know that that heavy corridor is going to sneak up into uh, Central Florida. We're going to be watching that carefully here uh, the next couple of days. What's going on Pensacola with the fires? They need rain. That's what they need. Uh, the front just came through, so the winds have picked up. So we're going to have to watch that, Perry. Great question. All right, so uh, let's take a look now. Woo! Uh, temps around the good old U.S. of A. Looking like this. Here we go. Woo, woo, woo. Look at that cold air. In the mountainous areas there from North Georgia, south of North Carolina. Yeah, so that's a fire danger. Right, that's fire. It's a it's a red flag fire danger for low humidities and and dry weather and gusty winds. Um, out in the southwest, it is hot. Vegas 97, Phoenix uh, in the near triple digits. So there you go. And, and when we take a look now at that snowpack, remember, we're in May. Got a little bit of snow there in Massachusetts. Or not Massachusetts, in, in Pennsylvania and snow out west. But uh, we may see a developing winter storm here in, in May. So what's going to happen is, is this little piece is going to drop in on the back side of that. It's really going to get chilly and cold. And that may produce some high high mountain snows. Yes, sir. Sorry, okay, so yeah, that's okay. Come on in. We're we're good. The super moon? No, sunset. Gorgeous oh, sunset. sunset. Let's let's do it. Let's take a look at that sunset right here, right now. Enjoy. Uh, thank you, sir. David Raw. Oh, look at that. You did not. You you well done. There's your there's your sunset, Dave Ross. Our assignment desk. Look at that is fantastic. We're gonna get back to that uh, snow story here in a second, but let's enjoy what we have. Yep, Deb, that's that's insane in the membrane, isn't it? I'll tell you what, crazy. All right, we're gonna go back to that here. It's just kind of playing around with uh, with a few things here. So yeah, so there's uh there's winter storm uh, frost advisories and freeze warnings in effect now for. Uh, West Virginia, Virginia, Ohio, Kentucky. Uh, so, yeah, yeah. And then Friday night, yeah, it might even be cold enough for some snow. That's how crazy uh, this forecast uh, is getting uh, for, for folks there yeah, in, in, the, in the Northeast. The thing about it, 24 degrees in snowshoe. Um, Friday night, Saturday morning. Highs on Saturday, 37. I mean, so, yeah, uh, rain and snow showers tonight up that way. So, uh, yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's kind of wild. All right, so let's take a look now at all of this. Uh, again, we've got uh, winter weather advisors through a good chunk of, of Kentucky, North Carolina mountains, Virginia mountains, West Virginia mountains, Western PA, Western New York State. So, it's just, it's ridiculous. Mid-May, mid-May. Uh, Mary made cupcakes. Stephanie Marie. Steffi. Steffi Meister. Stefalina. Uh, how you been, girl? What have you been up to? All right, so let's let's clear this out. Let me just kind of show you what's going on here. So there's the front. Look at that. Ooh. See the snow? Look at that. Bam. A little bit of snow there. Then we got this next piece that's going to dive in behind it which is going to make uh, things even more interesting, so to speak. Very cold air wrapping in behind this storm system here. Freeze warnings, frost advisories, snow. We had snow here, high country there of upstate New York and, and western Pennsylvania. We have a huge fire going on in northwest Florida. Santa Rosa. Oh, Missy Lawson, send picture if you can. Uh, Mikey Long, clink, clink. Mike's uh, clearly thirsty. He's taking care of his thirst right now. Clink, clink. Uh, so there's our next little feature. 
Boom, drop it in. There you go. And look at that. Mm, big storm up in the northwest. There, there you go. There's your choice. She's doing the corona. So we got uh, a little bit of moisture there in the Gulf. Just kind of sitting there. I've been keeping busy. We're trying to. It's going good, Steph. Yeah, I can't complain. Um, yeah, so yeah. Mikey Long, what are you doing this summer, summer Stephanie? What, what are the plans? Working, vacationing, chillaxing. So that's a look at uh, the United States. All right, now, temps. Let's show you the temps around the globe. Woo, woo, woo. Yeah. All right, so there's a look at uh, no doubt, okay. Uh, Point Barrow at 13, Nome at 30. Uh, look at Fort Ross, 11 above. Baker Lake, 12 above. Uh, Iqaluit, 18. Moosonee, 25. Minneapolis, uh, coming in there at about 63. And you go to the northeast, you can see it's in the 40s and 50s. Ouch. Uh, Moonrise is awesome at Ormond by the Sea. Danielle, thank you, sir. 93 in El Paso, 81 in Havana, 82 in Cancun, 84 in Kingston. Th th there you go, Mike. Lelaine Hayworth, Snow, where are you? Replying to Mike. Uh, 84 in Kingston, 86 Panama City. Look at Caracas, 81. Bogota, 59. La Paz, Bolivia. 45, Buenos Aires, 57. Uh, Hayworth, Ohio, he says. Uh, Punta Arenas, 43. Cape Town, South Africa. Owen, Vanessa, Kiloe, Moon. Right back at you there, girl. Oh, look at the little kitties. Uh, 81, Luanda, 90, Niemi, Cairo, 64. Kiev, 43. Berlin, 46. Oslo, 43, Moscow, 50, Surgut, 39, Astana, 36, Bishkek, 45, Urkumi, 52, Bratsk, Ulaanbaatar, 39, Yakutsk, heat wave, at 52. <laughs> ah, dirty martini, she's going on it. Louis Allman, there you go. Arlene Cologne, Miss Cologne is popped in. Be the light, be the light. There you go. So 39 in Ulaanbaatar, Tokyo 63, Hong Kong 84, Manila coming in at 90. They, they are melting in Yakutsk. Uh, pretty much chillaxing for a bit, but I'm so ready for vacation. Uh, we're, well, we'd like to do a vacation too, but with, with all of this COVID stuff, I uh, don't know if that's going to happen. It's played by ear. Uh, Ho Chi Minh City, 86. Kuala Lumpur, 82. Port Moresby coming in at 84. Uh, have a great night, guys. Night, Tony. Francis, right back at you there, girl. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Perth, 52. Melbourne, 64. Hobart Airport, 57. There's Christchurch, 63. And Auckland coming in at 61. Uh, Ellie Sanchez has popped on in. Good to have you there, Els. There we go. So that is a look at the temperatures around the globe. Now closer to home. You can see we've got the 70s and low 80s out there right now. Louis Allman, bring on the rain, Tony. I'm working on it. There you go. <clears throat> there you go. Boom. Uh, series of fronts going to be moving on in tonight. And that is going to knock our temperatures down. Look at the little stray thunder shower there. 
and developed there east, east of Cathy Drive along A1A. Here's Mound Grove. There you have it. Uh, you too, Patio. Have a great night. To everybody up there, we said hey. Um, so the story for tonight, behind that front, these temps right here are going to be cooling on down to 51 Ocala, 60 in Orlando, and 61 on into Melbourne. With that, uh, we will go ahead and wrap it up with the seven-day forecast here. You can see Thursday is going to be fantastic. Uh, 84 on Friday, 85 on Saturday. Uh, you can see 65 Saturday morning, 85 by the afternoon. Just a, about a 20% chance uh, for a couple of showers. Um, nothing too significant. Uh, there we go. All right, so there you go. 78 on Sunday for Mother's Day. Best rain chances look to be south. Pamela Jacquez Lopez right back at you. Gayla Atkinson, Girasoli. Uh, Tony, when you yawn, I start you. <laughs> uh, it's contagious, they say, right, Gaya? All right, uh, Monday, back to work, 82. Tuesday, 84. And Wednesday coming in at 85. So there you go. All right, gang, let me rock and roll and uh, uh, let you guys get back to what you're doing. I'm going to make a, a couple of quick updates here. You guys have a great night. I'll see you tonight on the CW18 at 10. And West True News at 11. And I'll be, of course, be right back here uh, on uh, Facebook Live tomorrow night at 8. Toodles. See you. Cheers. Bye-bye.